Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Here we go. This is my super breakfast. I'm about to make my bulletproof coffee. It's my week number two, day number five. And don't forget here we have the most important thing, the lemon and a big tall glass of water. That's uh, more, the most important thing. Before anything, hydrate and alkalinize with lemon. And after that, it comes some Ensign tea powder for some uh, oomph, some coconut oil. This is oil, okay? And uh, any kind of coffee. I don't get uh, commissions <laughs> to sell any kind of particular brand. So any kind of coffee in your cup and hot water, obviously. That's my uh, version of the Bulletproof coffee. And uh, here we go, week number two, last day of the week. I, I do my weeks, uh, five day weeks. Um, typically the weekend I extend the routine. So I don't cheat two days. Uh, the most I'll cheat uh, is one day a week. And not even, I'll, I'll, I'll cheat just one meal out of the five or six meals. I'll do, ah, what the heck, I'm, I'm just gonna eat whatever I want. So my cheat day is usually Saturday or Sunday and one of the meals. However, for these, uh, for these purposes, for this program, for what we're doing together, I'm gonna show you uh, an example of what to do day one to five or day one to six or day one to four, it doesn't really matter. You extend it the whole week and then one day, <clears throat> one meal, um, do whatever you want. So that, that'll be your cheat uh, day and your cheat meal. And um, I wanted to tell you, I forgot to mention, <clears throat> sorry, Yesterday I did fajitas and I wanted to tell you about bread and carbs. If you absolutely necessarily must eat bread, this bread's like the, like the tortilla bread or the pita bread or the, um, you know, the Eastern bread, the Middle Eastern bread, uh, any bread that is flat, that is not been raised, that doesn't have the, the bacteria to, to, to raise it, um, you know, it's healthier than other breads. So if you absolutely necessarily must eat, eat bread, I would recommend you eat some of the some of those flat breads that uh, have less um, less junk that is going to... That's the technical question, by the way. That's the, the technical word, uh, the sci very scientific word, junk. So less junk. <laughs> Sorry, my brain hasn't woken up yet. Um, less things that are going to interfere with your digestion um, and less things that are gonna bloat your, your stomach and less things that are gonna do that clash between enzymes or between uh, macronutrients. So bread and carbohydrates have a bad rep because when you mix them with fat or with protein, they tend to, instead of uh, metabolize, they tend to go straight into fat to reserves. So that's what I wanted to say. Um, when you use flat breads instead of the traditional breads, um, you don't have that happening so much. So it's better, it's a better alternative if you, if you must eat bread. And also on top of that, um, remember that you have, we call it the German bread. Uh, those breads that are like a brick, <laughs> literally, it looks like a brick, weights like a brick, feels like a brick, uh, must be a brick. Um, seriously, uh, sorry for the Sesame Street uh, allegory. Um, so, <clears throat> those breads that are really heavy and uh, they're more than bread, they, they, they look like uh, somebody took a bunch of cereals together and just smashed them together. Um, those breads are also a good alternative to traditional bread. Traditional bread and, and uh, nowadays that they make them from the cheapest, cheapest uh, materials and they throw it the cheapest thing possible. And that thing is uh, doesn't weight anything, it's white as white can be, whiter than milk. Um, those breads obviously stay away from them. But if you can get a good quality cereal based, uh, not even bread, I think those are literally, it's not bread, we call it bread, but it's just a, um, a bunch of cereals blend together, pressed together, and uh, they look like a little brick. That's a good alternative. That's uh, what I recommend in my clinics to those that must absolutely eat bread. And then the flatbread, the flatbread is uh, also because it hasn't been risen, it, it doesn't have part of the, um, the things that, obviously, unless you, you're allergic to wheat, um, most people, they are, they're intolerant to bread or they cannot uh, digest bread very well because of uh, part of the ingredients. And, and I forgot now, I'll tell you in the next one, when, when my brain <laughs> comes back to life. 
um, the ingredients that they throw in the bread that are not so desirable. So the flatbreads are great for that. Anyhow, enough about bread. I just wanted to mention that from the previous day. And my chicken fajitas, by the way, mm, delish. I might make them today again. That's how good they are. <clears throat> or tomorrow. And that's it. I'm rambling. Um, we're going to do five days together. The seven days you do on your own. So the weekend you do on your own. Be as strict as you can those two days on the weekend. And cheat just one meal. That's the message for today. All right, friends and family. Love you very much. May the chi be with you. And I'll see you on the next meal. Bye bye. Tricky Mama Maria. Over and out. Doing, uh, by the way, if you're just new today and you don't know what the heck we're doing, we're doing a challenge. Uh, boom. We call it Boom. This stands for Boost and Optimize Your Own Metabolism. It's eight weeks to transform your metabolism without going hungry, without doing diets, without doing traditional exercise. Just doing whatever you were doing before, which is going to add new ideas. We're going to add new ways of breathing, of stretching meridians, of using uh, the sun, using um, pressure, using meridians, using stretching, using <clears throat> water therapy, sun therapy. In other words, we're using all the tools from the traditional Chinese medicine, minus the needles, minus the acupuncture, but all the rest of the tools that are 100 tools, we're using pretty much all of them to transform in a natural way, in a long lasting way, your metabolism so you can lose weight, stay there and don't have the bouncing effect that you're going to have with each and every diet and each and every exercise program because diets and exercise don't work. The moment you exercise, fine. The moment you diet, fine. The moment you leave, you quit doing it, you go back to your original weight. This roller coaster effect, guaranteed. I was going to say guaranteed. fucking teed. Um, I just said it. Um, and instead, with this um, traditional Chinese model, with this uh, archetype, with this paradigm, you don't have this uh, bouncing effect and you don't have to starve yourself and you don't have to quit eating the foods that you love. So there you have it. That's what we're doing. Boom, baby. Eight week challenge. Traditional Chinese medicine. Forget about diets. Forget about exercise. Traditionally exercise. Do whatever you've been doing all your life. That is not going to change, but you, you're not going to start doing now, um, you know, CrossFit or bouncing around or any of that nonsense. You're going to continue doing your life. And we're going to add, in addition, tools and techniques and tactics from the traditional Chinese medicine so you can reprogram your metabolism, not just lose weight, reprogram your metabolism to achieve a different set point, And you're going to stay in that set point forever. Unless you want to go lower one more notch and we can do that. That's what we're talking about. If you want more information about that, unless you're already inside the challenge, if you're watching this in my social media uh, channels, you go to boom8weeks.com. Boom, B O O M, eight, the figure eight, the number eight, weeks, uh, W E E K S, weeks in plural, dot com. Boom8weeks.com. I'll see you there. We'll see you soon with the next uh, meal. Now, yes, <laughs> signing out. Bye bye.